so a while back, the official uh, Doom Twitter page had announced that there was going to be a patch update or an update of some sort for Doom on Nintendo Switch. Uh, they didn't release the patch notes yet, but as a, as um, as I was going through Twitter, I started seeing that people had received this update already. So apparently, they released it today. So we're gonna check out and see what's going on with this update. As you can see, it's updating right now. Not too sure what specific details there are in this update because they haven't released the patch notes yet. But as soon as uh, those patch notes are released, I will share them with you guys in this video. But as you can see right now, the, um, the update is in progress. For you guys that wanted to see the, um, the official patch notes and what's actually been fixed in this patch, uh, it says fixed an issue that resulted in a possible crash while using the BFG, fixed an issue that caused audio issues while playing, fixed an issue that caused stretch textures to appear in multiplayer, fixed an issue where controls became unresponsive in the game menu, and fixed an issue where players may have incorrectly received a ban notice in multiplayer. In the meantime, it is taking a while to update, uh, probably because I'm very far away from where my internet router is actually at, but it's also taking a while, so that may mean that it's a a huge update or probably a slightly large update so let's see go to data management manage software okay it is at 1.1 gigabytes it was originally like at 7 point something so it seems that the update should be about a gig and it should be fixing some of the audio files and uh, whatnot because there's a lot of glitches uh, with the audio uh, sometimes the audio would go off like I explained in the uh, the first video that I was talking about when I first got this game, um, the audio would cut off and go very silent. And for some reason, uh, there would be this really loud, like, I don't know what it was. It was just very, very loud and it would scare the living hell out of me when I'm playing in TV mode because it was pretty damn loud. Alright guys, I'll let you know what is uh, to be seen with this update after the update has been finished. Alright guys, the first thing you're probably going to see after this update because it just finished and that is we got a new um, uh, main screen uh, logo or I guess uh, picture or uh, cover art as you may call it and back then it was the Revenant screaming and it showed like the logo of Doom and I thought it was okay I thought it would have been cooler I thought it would have been this one at first honestly but now they changed it so now it looks pretty cool now so that's one of the things uh, you should see when updating this game now we're gonna get into actually seeing what the update does for us so let's get right into it and see if there's any changes right another thing that caught my eye about this update is that they added gyroscope aiming basically when this game was first released and they showed uh what the motion controls were they were basically only for the attacks and the glory kills but now people have been asking for the gyro aiming for a very long time and supposedly they added it to this game so that's one thing that caught my attention immediately because i would have loved to see how uh, doom would have played if i could use gyroscope to aim and now they added that function so we're going to try out and see how it goes all right guys here it is the option for motion aiming is right here you can check mark it if you want it to and when you do and you enable it you have the options for motion sensitivity and to the invert the motion control so if you really like the motion controls to be inverted you have that option so this is pretty exciting i want to see what this does but i'll show you that in a in a bit but another thing you want to know about is they did fix something with the menus apparently a lot of people were reporting to me that they couldn't get the game to even start or it would get stuck at a certain point and so and so what I don't know uh, apparently there was just a prop some problems with the menus that wouldn't let you progress and play the game never personally happened to me but I did see videos about it and there was a couple ways around it to fix it but now they probably completely fixed it and some of the audio issues that we had too so we're gonna try this out and let's see how the motion aiming uh, goes out for us. I guess another cool thing is that the gyro aiming is also supported with the pro controller. So that's something if you wanted to know about. Wanted there you know. go. Uh, there you go. Let's see. Up, down, left, right. See? Looking pretty damn smooth. Again, you could adjust the sensitivity. Up, down, left, right. Can't really see it. Because uh, I'm in a very, very tight corner. So let me back up here in a little bit. And let me tinker around. Okay, I'm going to go left. 
right, up, down. Circles, yep, works pretty damn fluently. Down, up, left, right. Things are looking pretty fluent. Everything is looking fantastic. Okay, with the scopes, does work. Probably gonna make sniping in multiplayer way much easier for the people who do prefer motion controls. Now let's come down here and see what is up. I know this gun has a scope. Also supportive with that. I'm also in a very tight space, so if I cover up the switch with the controller while I'm aiming, I'm very sorry. Let's see. So uh, that about does it for this update. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool update. I'm glad Bethesda hurt their fans of wanting gyro uh, controllers uh, support for the Nintendo Switch version of this game. And it's pretty cool that they finally implemented it. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Enjoy the rest of this horrible gameplay of me in this really tight corner uh, trying to play Doom with the gyro controls. So that does it for this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you all later.